Hello everyone, Spartan Steve here, guiding you to get the map room and all obelisk locations. We're jumping straight into it. You're going to need to go to the least friendly city, the unnamed city. Uh, you're going to head over to the archive. You're going to go down the slave road into the gate right here. This is the path that I'm going to take. I am not stopping for anything. Um, we're going to run straight through everything to pass because the second you go into the unnamed city, you are going to gain corruption. And if you could dodge a skeleton, you could dodge a ball, just run around him. There are going to be all sorts of friendly creatures that want to greet you, mainly skeletons. There are also dragons in here that you don't want to make a wrong turn at because they do not like you being here. Make sure your stamina does not run out. Um, you can go down that way and jump down the wall, but I don't recommend that in case you miss. We'll be taking the scenic route down the steps. Run straight down the steps. You can go down that way, but we're going to jump right here. Skip a couple of them. You'll be fine. Run straight pe through the pair of the twins there. The obelisk that you're seeing up here that has more corruption around it, make sure you click that. Make sure you go up to that and tune your bracelet. It's going to save you time later. Go straight through this door over here. And just run all the way down. You can stop, but you're going to gain more corruption if you do. Nothing is going to stop you. There are no NPCs that are going to attack you once when you start running down this hall. Once when you get into the room that's going to have the giant map room in here, um, you will be okay. No more corruption. You're going to go up to the alien-friendly ghost over here. And you're going afraid. to click Learn I Cartographer. I am just you can shadow. listen to him. He does go on for a little bit if you care about the lore, but you could just move right forward. Before the fall. You'll then be able to see under your feet that you have unlocked the map room. Uh, under cartographer you can see it right there you can make the map room right in your inventory you're going to need corrupted stone iron reinforcement alchemy paste and crystal to make corrupted stone you have to be in a cauldron and you need to have stone ecor and demon blood once you've collected all of that the map room is rather large so make sure you got a nice space that where you want to put it you'll complete a journey once when you create the map room if you do want to move it you could absolutely bring that back into your inventory you do not have to make another one now that you have the map room um, once when you go up to the locations where you can teleport it will literally tell you that it's not attuned and if you do have it it will glow on the map of where you're going to go we're going to jump straight into where all the obelisks are. If I'm going too fast, by all means, you could pause it and you could absolutely take a look at everything. The one that we are at here that I showed on the map is right above the dregs, which is going to be the most pain in the behinds to get to. Um, you're going to go right up to there. I already did it, so I'm not going to run up there. Uh, but you are going to have to do a bit of climbing. The next one is going to be at the unnamed city. We're just going to go over that real quick because I just showed it before. Make sure you tune your bracelet when you run down here to get the map room so you don't have to come back. The next one is going to be to the east of the Stronghold and south of the Shattered Springs. Um, there's going to be nothing over here. You may run into a skeleton or two if you go by the Stronghold, but you'll be completely okay. The next one is just going to be just above the Sinkhole, right to the west of it and east of the camp right there. Also north of the summoning place. Very easy to see it once when you get by the sinkhole. Um, there are some undead dogs that do spawn over here. There's a book down there that you can learn some feats. Next one's going to be in the jungle by the upper staging area. Um, in the jungle, it's just as north as you could go almost all the way up here. There are spiders in the area, so be aware of that. But there's going to be two little platforms, one here and one just over there. And there are the lovely spiders. The next one is just going to be just north of where the Witch Queen is, right at Dragon Eye. Um, there are panthers over here. Um, they are going to pounce at you. 
as you could hear them. So just get rid of them first before you attune your bracelet so you don't get any more corruption. The next one is going to be at the Mounds of the Dead, east of where the Barrel King spawns. It's going to be right up here. You are going to be doing a little bit of climbing to get this attuned. Just climb right up on the side and attune your bracelet. Bring winter gear for this one. Um, just follow up the bridge of the betrayer. Um, just follow it straight all the way up, and you will see the obelisk. There's also a chest over here, just as a heads up. Do make sure that you bring some winter gear because it is freezing, and there is undead in the area as well. The next one is going to be where the friendly neighborhood giants spawn at. It's going to be right south of the Temple of the Frost. And the final one is going to be at the volcano. You're just going to take the path all the way to the Shrine of the Oracle. Um, the path is very straightforward. It's a stone path. And you're just going to follow it up to the obelisk here. It's going to be in this big building. Now that you did all that, every obelisk that you go up to that's on the map room, you'll be able to see it. And it will glow on the map on where you're going to go. I hope this video helps you guys out, do like the video if it did help you, and subscribe for the future videos. Take care everyone.